With the investments made in the Martin House and throughout our community in the last 10 years, this is a city that's at a tipping point in terms of its tourism appeal. There's no doubt in my mind that people are coming to Buffalo to see the waterfront, to see the wonderful architectural legacy that we have here, to see the improvements that have been being made all over from the Richardson Complex to the Martin House, to Greycliff, to the Roycroft Campus. It's a community that is really making a name for itself because of its investment in preservation heritage and architectural tourism. We welcome nearly 9 million visitors to Buffalo on an annual basis, and that's up well over a million and a quarter since 2013, 2014. So much of that has to do with the resurgence that our community has been going through, and the Martin House is part of that. As far as the Martin House and how it fits into Buffalo's resurgence, I think we started it. <laughs> as it became public knowledge of what was going on here, that we were rebuilding Frank Lloyd Wright buildings that had been demolished in the 1960s, bringing back the buildings to the way that they looked at the time that the Martin family lived here. You started getting all these cultural tourists wanting to see the Martin House and then being amazed at everything else that goes on in the city. So many of us that are from Western New York don't really believe that we're seeing this kind of interest in travelers coming to visit us. And I think that's just a testament to the commitment of the community to preserve, restore our assets. Um, and we have so much to offer now. The fabric of Western New York is really deep in the history. It's a story that's worth coming to see. So many preservation projects in our community start with the germ of an idea, start with a couple people talking about something. And I think a lot of people hold the Martin House up as an example of, let's start talking, let's start thinking, let's see if we can come up with an idea that makes sense. It's great to be part of that momentum. It really is. The work at the Martin House did not come easy. It required the resources, the energy, the commitment of not one, but thousands of individuals who came together, who understood the Martin House matters. It matters to Buffalo, it matters to New York State, and it matters to the world. I live in the neighborhood, so I see the license plates that are lining up to visit the Martin House, and really, they're from all over the U.S. And that, to me, is it's helping our community be strong. But it's also what's, what's interesting, I think people come to see what it looked like. What did it look like in 1903 to 1905? And the story of the Martin House is so interesting, and I think it's a real reason for people to come and, and learn more. With a fully restored estate, including the landscape, we're now able to see the goals that we set forth over two decades ago. The economic impact of this house is seen on a daily basis. It is a place where people learn. It is a place where people expand their talents. It's where a diverse group works together to preserve a masterpiece and create a new, a genuinely special place. It's a symbol of what a community can do when it sets its mind to doing something important.